Cooking is my hobby. I want to tell you guys a story. When I was with my aunt, she never believed I could cook so well. <laughs> you see, so listen to this story while we make local vegetable stew. So while we were living together, she had a, a cook. There was this lady that is in charge of the kitchen then. So she was the one cooking for the family while I look after my auntie's children. My auntie never believed I could cook so well. Because me then, I was so fragile. You see me, no one no, say I shall be do anything at all, self. So one day, I decided to surprise her. So I asked the other lady to excuse me in the kitchen so that I would do the cooking that day. It happened that it was the rough that they prepared to cook and she left the kitchen for me. So that day I surprised everybody in my family, including my aunt. Honestly. Oh, Bossia for Diego. If he tastes that jerof rice, everybody in the family was like, ha. I'm a nice cook. <clears throat> Though I don't brag about it. So she returned home that day. They sent her her food to eat. When she ate that food, she was surprised because it tasted differently from what she used to eat. She was like, God, who cooks this food? She called the other lady and asked her. She the other lady said, Madam, no, Ozoma cook more. She was like, Ozoma what? She was like, Ozoma what? She never believed it. She was not satisfied. She sent for me and I came and asked me. I said, Auntie, I was the one that cooked it. She was, what? So you are this good in cooking? I said, okay, for me. If you any manya. She was like, oh my goodness. She never believed it. My auntie was shocked and very surprised. But what she later told me will shock you. <clears throat> But joke apart, if you taste that jerof rice, it will like me. It could like me. So after eating the jerof rice, now my auntie called me and said, <laughs> what she said will shock you. She said, Ozoma, you said you are the one that cooked this food, Abi? I said, yes. She now said, okay, listen. She said, on no account should you tell my husband that you are the person that made this food. I said, okay. She said again, as long as you are in my house, on no account should you enter kitchen and cook for the family i say yeah i said okay ma i've heard you so she now asked me to go a lot we are going through my mind i was like what does this woman mean hmm? what does she mean by that she called me later in the night that day she called me and said make i know reason which thing she told me see 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 her reason so she told me that her husband that her husband likes tasty food a lot any woman that gives him tasty food, he no joke with that woman. Hmm. That was her reason. And that was the reason she said what she said to me. I said, okay, though I understand her, because I'm this type that, like, I respect your space. Wait, like, my rice don't don't know. And my stew. Wow. You know, I understand her because she was trying to save her marriage. Because some men, Anya Even when her husband returned and tested the food, he was like, wow, this. The wife said, eh, it's the same girl that cooked it too. What if I'm kidding? You know, my auntie told me a secret, so there was no how I would have revealed it to anyone then. Let me still add crayfish. Throughout my stay in that house till today, the husband never knew I was the person that cooked that food that day. Nobody told him. I never told him, nobody told him anything in the house. Oh, so sweet and natural. So what am I saying? When it comes to your relationship, mind people you tell your secrets. For most of your secrets to last, depends on the people you tell them. You don't share your problems with people anyhow, especially when it has to do with your relationship. Never you reveal your husband's weakness to anybody and they don't discuss your wife's weaknesses to anybody because some use it against you. Who knows, had it been I'm a bad person, I would have used it against her. I could go cook for her husband, go then knock her husband for her back. <laughs> Her husband never knew I was the person that made that delicious jollof rice. Till today. So that was a secret I kept from my auntie. 
Oh, guys, food done done. Done done. So, I'll have to be very careful. So, this is local vegetables too with white rice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanna see them. I try, Abby. Abby, I will try. Talk through. Love yourself because you are a limited edition. Thank you.